A series of viral tweets today from the president, I know, shocker, have uh, caught a lot of buzz, and the president is not happy with the handling of what seems like endless investigations in D.C. right now. One tweet said this, I'm being investigated for firing the FBI director by the man who told me to fire the FBI director, witch hunt. The media is going bonkers right now saying, see, Trump really is under investigation. But does anyone care what the media says anymore? Anyway, here with me now to discuss, attorney and senior columnist at townhall.com, Kurt Schlichter. Kurt, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Kurt, the president's tweet about the witch hunt is, of course, referring to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who sent a written report, we'll all remember, to Trump suggesting he fired the FBI director, James Comey. Then when Trump fired Comey, now Rosenstein hired special counsel Robert, Robert Mueller to investigate Trump for firing Comey. And I don't know, I'm a wonk in everything, but I'm thinking the guy out there in Main Street has no clue why this even matters. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares. You know, I'm, I'm in two worlds like you. You know, we have the political world and then we have the uh, normal world of human beings. And in the political world, we have all these, uh, you know, establishment types and they're all tenting their fingers. They're all super excited because they think they're going to get rid of Trump, by which they mean all of us. And that we're going to go back to being, you know, quiet and obedient sheep uh, and everything will go back to normal and they can continue to, you know, pillage us. Um, and then I go out in the real world and no one is talking about this Russia nonsense. No one's talking about Mueller. No one's talking about it at all because they just don't buy it. They just don't care. So I think they've got a real problem if they think they're going to succeed in this scam. And, that, and that's what it is. It's a yeah. giant scam. Yeah. Well, the mainstream media had a heyday with this, claiming that President Trump admitted he's under investigation, but the special counsel's office says they've not informed anyone, including the president, that they are under investigation for anything. So there's no way that that was the, Trump, the president admitting that he's under investigation. So that about ends that, right? So basically, they're criticizing Trump for believing their lies. Well, okay, I guess that's a thing <laughs> in, in Washington. Uh, look, I, I'm just a simple country trial lawyer in Los Angeles. But, you know, I look at this, and I look at the whole conflict of interest thing, which is a huge part of being a lawyer. That's something I deal with every day, checking for conflicts. And I see that the center of this investigation... Uh, uh, from Mueller is Mueller's best freaking friend. And that's a problem. And if you look at the, you know, regulation, 28 Code of Federal Regulation 45.2, uh, it says you can't investigate your own buddy. And then I see he's hiring all these people who maxed out donations to Hillary Clinton. And then I see that his investigation is leaking left and right, which is against DOJ rules and possibly illegal. Right. And then I see you know, the, remember how it was about Trump and Putin partying and they're walking barefoot through the meadow and stuff? And that's apparently gone. Now they're trying, as I understand it, to bust Trump for fighting back against a charge they admit was false. So you put that all together and normal people are going, eh, you know, not, no, not buying it. Normal rational it's just not people. Work. There, there are some normal, are rational, some people normal rational people left, people Kurt, left so that's a good thing. All right, the president tweeted more about the Russian collusion conspiracy theory investigation. He reminded everyone that after seven months of investigations and committee hearings about my quote-unquote collusion with the Russians, nobody's been able to show any proof. Sad. Kurt, it has been seven months or more, and I think this Russia stuff could go on, I'm serious, the entire eight years of a Trump presidency. Um, do you think it ends at this point? No, I, I, I think it only ends when the Republican Congress goes home, because they're going home in about two weeks on their uh, their, you know, endless recesses. And I think they're going to go home and they're surrounded by people in D.C. who are talking about nothing else. And they're going to get home and people are go, you know, what about jobs? What about legal aliens? Why is my you know, why is my son still over there in Iraq? These are real questions. You know, why is. Uh, uh, why, why aren't you cutting more regulations? Why, why are my taxes so high? What's with this Obamacare premium? They're not talking about Trump Russia because the people are ahead of Washington, D.C. insiders. They're past that. They want solutions. And the Republican congressmen are going to be faced with a real question because, remember, Mueller can't send Donald Trump to jail. He can't prosecute the president. All he can do is provide political 
ammunition to people who want to impeach him. And impeachment is a purely political process. It's done by politicians. That's what it is. And I think the Republican congressmen are going to see that the people who elected them not only do not care, but actively do not want uh, the liberal establishment and their, you know, never Trump lackeys throwing out the guy they elected to go and drain the swamp. And so do you think that there is a tack that this president will take that will cur curtail this or put us back on focus for the things that you talked about that real Americans are actually concerned about? Well, I think he's already doing that, Gina. I think, uh, you know, he went down to uh, Florida today, met with the Cuban-American community. And you know my beautiful wife, Irina, who uh, escaped from Cuba with her family. That's hugely important to the Cuban-American community and to anyone who likes freedom. Uh, and he basically said, you know, the Obama hug a dictator policy is over. Um, he has been cutting regulations. We just opened another coal mine so people can feed their families with a job instead of welfare in Pennsylvania. Slowly but surely, Donald Trump's making a difference. I was just checking my uh, 401k. Hey, stocks are up. Things are looking better. Those are the real tests for people. And I think we're going to see Obamacare repealed in the next two weeks. I think the Senate's going to punch out a, uh, a, a bill, and I think the House is going to pass it before they go home. And that's going to send the media for a tailspin. They, 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 they want gridlock. They want failure. And I frankly think Mitch McConnell, who I've had some disagreements with, heck, I've had disagreements with Donald Trump, but I think Mitch McConnell's pretty cunning, and he understands that to win, he's got to produce. And I think he's going to. Yeah. yeah, it would be interesting if uh, if Sessions, who uh, Attorney General Sessions, who has recused himself, as we know, from any Russia linked investigations, uh, ordered Mueller to investigate Hillary's email, because if he did that, um, it would maybe shift the focus off of Trump, at least temporarily. I don't know. What do you think that mix looks like? Because that's what a lot of people are suggesting today on social media. I think that's a uh, great idea. First of all, I think Donald Trump uh, needs to continue to get on Twitter and to continue to point out these conflicts of interest. You know, 10 years ago, we would have had George Bush, who was a nice guy, and that's the problem. Nice guys finish last when they're going against scumbags, and that's what our opponents are. They don't care about the traditions, rules, customs, or laws. They just want power, and we've got to stop them. And you don't stop them by playing footsie. He gets on Twitter and says, this guy has huge conflicts. And normal people go, what? And they look closer, and they see what are indisputably huge conflicts. Have you noticed you haven't seen the media explaining away why it's cool that the guy investigating Trump has as his main accuser, Trump, you know, his own best friend? You know, if, if you were, you know, working and someone accused you of something, you know, and the uh, and, and, and HR appointed the best friend of the accuser to investigate you, you'd be like, huh, no, I'm not, no, not real confident in that. How's this different? And of course, of course it isn't. And at least, um, at least, at least if, uh, if they did open the investigation to Hillary's emails as well um, on the behalf of Mueller, then it would be a real legitimate witch hunt and Trump would have been right again. Kurt, thank you so much for being with us. Check out his epic columns at townhall.com.